your doTERRA essential oil girl. How you doing? Happy Monday. No. Yeah. Happy Monday. I know this because John's at band practice, you see. So, yeah. That's how I remember Mondays. So, I, um, I'm going to make some mouthwash. And I was like, oh, wait. I don't think I've shown you people how to make mouthwash. So, I thought I'd just show you how hard it is to make a mouthwash with doTERRA. So, usually, for convenience sake, just because there's all kinds of yummy stuff in the On Guard mouthwash that doTERRA has, we just buy the mouthwash, right? And But they've been out. Go go figure for supply, supply chain issues, etc. Like everything else in the world, there's also some hiccups with some of the doTERRA products. So, so this is the second bottle I'm making for John. And he's the one that is adamant about using the um, mouthwash. His dentist is, he's always had really bad teeth. And the dentist always wants him to use like extra fluoride toothpaste and a mouthwash. And we have changed over to the doTERRA products and his teeth are improving. So you heard it here first. I'm just saying. Um, so this is what you got to do. You got to get you like a peppermint. This is not just any peppermint. This is doTERRA essential oil peppermint. Okay, and you go like this. Let's see if I can show you here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, complicated, right? Um, I'm not sure the cost of the peppermint, by the way, but there's 250 drops of the peppermint in this bottle, and I said, and I just used 10 drops, so you can do the math on that. If I just use this peppermint to make mouthwash, it would last me a decade or so. But I use it for all kinds of other stuff too. So, all right. So that's the first ingredient for the mouthwash. Here is the second ingredient, the On Guard. This is DoTerra's protective blend. This is the blend that we take to help us with our immune system. Um, this particular oil has wild orange in it, clove, which if you ever have a toothache, um, clove is your friend. doTERRA has also an essential oil clove, and you can literally just put it on the area and it will stop the pain. And if you don't believe me, you can ask John, even though he's not here right now. He swears by it, because he, like I said, he had bad teeth, so it's always been a big deal for him. Um, and he used to travel with pain medication for the times that he would have toothaches, which was often. But since he's been using doTERRA, he no longer does it. He makes sure he has some clove with him. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Just say it. Just say it. Okay. It's got clove in it, cinnamon leaf, cinnamon bark, and eucalyptus, and rosemary. All those complicated plants. Okay. I'll just say them. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, ten. Okay. Spending some big money now, right? Again, 250 drops in this bottle. And this is an immune boosting oil that is amazing for, you can literally take drops and drink the, the On Guard as a protective blend. And this is the hard part. Fill it up with water. Yeah, this is the hardest part for me right here. Is filling it up with water. I don't want to spill it. This is a 16 ounce container. You need 10 drops of each oil. There you go. You put the lid on like this. This is a complicated part too. Shake before use. A little bit in your mouth. Squish it around. You can either swallow it because it's good for you, or you can spit it out. Mouthwash. That'll hold them. That'll hold them. I just wanted to share how complicated that was. So, I know y'all are going, but I like to buy the store brand. I like to buy the store brand that they're, um, that they're mouthwash, because I like the alcohol they got in it, right? 
So I was reading up on, on mouthwash. I thought, well, let's see what the deal is. And there's an awful lot of warning signs on mouthwash, especially the mouthwash, the side effects of alcohol-based mouthwash, okay? They may cause canker sores. Now, I would have thought that alcohol would actually dry out the canker sores. Right? But maybe not, because apparently it may cause canker sores. Um, Michelle, you can use any any bottle. Just make sure it's, just use a mason jar for goodness sakes. They'll come back out with their mouthwash soon. Remember, glass container or a uh, metal container. I'm just using that one because I know it's safe. So don't throw it out next time. Just say. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew, right? All right, may cause canker sores, may cause dry mouth, may cause burning or pain when you use it, um, may remove your healthy oral microbiome, micro, 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 that's, that's the good bacteria in your mouth. You don't want it to take the good stuff away. May cause teeth staining. I haven't heard that one before. May be linked to increased cancer risk. Mouthwash? You know, they don't put this stuff up here unless it's happened. You know that, right? They're not guessing at this stuff and said, let's just put this there. Oh, no. They were sued so many times that that had to go up there. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, then signs you're overusing mouthwash and why you shouldn't use mouthwash. There's all kinds. Is mouthwash necessary? Alternatives to mouthwash. There's a lot of information on mouthwash. Who knew? Right? Anyway, I just wanted to share. Y'all know that I am adamant that these doTERRA essential oils are, are a very economical option to all kinds of over-the-counter stuff that we buy. We are saving hundreds of dollars a month by using oils instead. And these are good for you. These are safe. Your body understands that these are plants. They're not going to hurt you. You got to be smart. I mean, I wouldn't drink just these straight and swish it around in my mouth. That would be a little uncomfortable, but you could do it. But I wouldn't do it. But, so I made the mouthwash. All right. Update on my um, homework. Just let you know, I did get figure out on my homework how to put the contacts from my doTERRA website into my social fox account. I think. Tomorrow, as, as Laura told me yesterday when I was giving you the analogy about drowning in the ocean and trying to keep my head above water, tomorrow is a hurricane prediction. In other words, our class is coming tomorrow, so... The tsunami is coming tomorrow. So, anyway, it's all good. It's all it's all good. I'm enjoying it, y'all. That's all I got. That's all I got. Everything's good. Now you can go home, make your own mouthwash. Whenever you're ready to start playing with the oils, reach out. I'll get you started. All right. Love you guys. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, and tomorrow's line dance. Woohoo!